we'd like to introduce you to Patty Wilkinson from Simplicity, the first time you've been on Scrapbook Memories. And you brought along journals to go with our album theme. These journals are sweet and tiny, but look like a lot of work with all the decorative edges. Well, I have a little secret for you as to how to cut all those great strips. And we'll get to that secret in just a second. But first, let's look at one of these. This is a friendship journal mm -hmm. that you've decorated. And I love doing journals, don't you? Oh, because I, do. I can keep something a daily or I can journal about an event like a wedding or a new baby. And this one doesn't have photos, it would be a nice card. Oh, it would be. Kind of like a card on top of a gift. Or... Uh-huh. It's a great way to gift someone and it's a great way to add things to your family memorabilia. Okay. Show us how you make this. All right. Let me show you the components first. What you need are 12 by 12 pieces of paper, scrapbook paper that uh, it doesn't have to be the same on both sides, but if it is, it's fine. You need three pieces to start out with. And you don't need to have these sides pinked. No. That's a pinking, like a, like, looks like a pinking shear. It does, and I have a way to show you to do that. Okay. I have a great little machine here, and it is a rotary cutting machine. I'm going to just place this in here and then press the foot feed that's on the floor you can't see. Right. Kind of like a sewing machine. Yeah, very much so. It does everything from 3 8 to 3 inches, and this is for the 3 inch strip. Is this designed to work just with paper? Oh no, you can do fabric and mm -hmm. vinyl, uh, felt, all types of things. Look how easy that was. It just came apart just like that. It did, and, and it will also do straight. I'm going to set this one aside. I've got two machines up so I can show you both of the cutting edges. But you could switch the blade, right? Oh, definitely. Under switch one. the blade. Okay. Yeah, this is just for TV. Okay. So then we just place it in there and let it slide through, and we've got a straight edge. Now, that is so cool. I mean, how many paper trimmers have I used and gone through, and that does the work for you? Right here is a grid. How wide can you go on this? You can go three inches and as small as three-eighths of an inch. Okay, and you just follow these black lines to you figure sure out. You sure do. It's already done. It has a little screw, so you can just adjust it however you want it. And there's a stop. May I try? Because you make yes, it seem so easy. Absolutely. Okay, now which pedal do I need? It's the one on the outside here. Okay, great. And again, it's like a sewing machine pedal. Mm-hmm. Just let it slide through. It's kind of like butter. Oh, it is like butter. <laughs> and there you go. Oh, Isn't my goodness. Fun? Okay. Well, it's a little addicting. Yeah. <laughs> I'll cut a few more things before you leave. Okay. Um, so tell me what's next for the journal. What's next is after you have all of your strips cut, and I like doing the zigzag because it's so cool. It's zig Basically, it was 12, uh, 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. How wide is that? Roughly? That's three inches. Okay. And then you... Uh, uh, fold it in half like that and then what I did was I punched a little hole here mm -hmm. so that I can add my little trim out here on the edge oh. and you do that to every piece of paper until you have everything you want then you can add embellishments of course we have to embellish don't we yeah oh we can't they wouldn't want to leave it plain <laughs> do your little embellishments and, and that you stickers. used a glue stick I did mm -hmm. and you can add pictures with this also because it's photo safe okay and then you want to do another photo safe glue and I have a really great binding trick okay for you now because it involves this and we're going to show you how to bind this at home yes okay now you've got all of your embellishments done you're totally finished with your journal and you want to get this really straight Beth now you have all of your little paper. See how that's just perfectly straight? Mm -hmm. Now I want to take my glue. Your rubber cement. And just go right down here because I have this little piece of ribbon that I've done to kind of keep it all pretty. And then to finish it, we're going to do something like you've never seen before, I bet you, unless you're as old as me. And we have all seen rubber cement if you're my age. And I've done my fair share of rubber cement, but I've never used it as a way to bind something. Well, this is great because, you know, whenever you get your pads of scrapbooking paper, this is what it is on the edge. I did not know that. Now, you want to be a little more uh, persnickety than I am right now. Okay, and there's a few drops in the front, but you want to oh, do a liberal that. amount. I mean, this is yes. not something you want to be skimpy on. And it's clear, so okay. no one's going to care. Now, after you get that done, then place your binder clip on there. Away from the glue. Away from the glue, and now we have to be patient. So you need to do this how long in advance? I would do it overnight. And this is a gift for your best friend, not the hour before. That's right. Okay. And then after it's all finished, if you'll hand me that other one, let me show you how nice and clean it looks. You've got a perfect little binding okay. on the inside that you can't even see. It's invisible. So we've combined our great strips and okay. our, on our binding, and we've got a great little journal. Okay. I want to go and bring a couple of these others with back here. Oh, do. Okay. Because these are just different colors. So this says Steph. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Go ahead. It's great when you add all your trims and your little trinkets. You could put charms on here. And then take all those strips that you've got in your stash, mm -hmm. put them with your rotary cutter, and just cut all kinds of strips and embellishments and add those to your journal. And here's an example of using, um, you know, decorative paper, double-sided decorative paper because, and I can't really open it up too much, but if you look in between, oh, yes. there's different colors, so mm -hmm. that's another way. Oh, and like quotes, add some quotes to it. Right, you can keep a daily journal. This is cute because you can keep it in your purse. You know, okay, the cute things your kids say. Because sometimes oh. I'll write it down on a scrap piece of paper and then I've got to go <laughs> scrapbook it. Why don't I just put it in here and be done? Very good right. idea. You could bind it. You could put uh, trims around it to hold it all together when you're finished. And yeah. I really enjoy doing the little punched holes on the ends. Well, so it you helps. Can add your trims. It does help turn the pages too. We have another one to show off. This one is a cute one too. It just says, uh, enjoy life. Mm -hmm. And so you can put all kinds of things that are uh, motivating inside this journal. And I like how the rickrack coordinates well with this pinking. It's hard to say. You have such a nice southern voice. It comes out as pinking, and pinking. I love it. Pinking, like a pinking shear. It, it matches is. really well. It is like a rickrack on the end. Yeah. Very now, clever. we're making three-inch sizes here, mm -hmm. three-inch strips. We could make larger sizes, right? You sure could. You could make smaller ones, too. Just think how cute it would be to make mini oh, journals, yeah. M-I-N-I. <laughs> oh, and mini, too. And many, M-A-N-Y, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing this along. It we really fun. appreciate it. Yeah, it showed us something totally new. I'm glad you're here with us today. And we will be right back.